Hi, welcome to my video on the volume of a cone. Volume of a cone, cone shape like an ice cream cone, has a peak and has a circle. The base of a cone is a circle. The height perpendicular to the base from the peak perpendicular to the base is from the top of the cone, as I said, the peak, to the center of the circle. Now, what I have drawn here is a cylinder, and this cylinder has a radius of 3, which is OA, and has a height, which is 8, and the radius and the height are perpendicular. If you take this cylinder and cut, you cut out the cone, if this cone has a height of 8 from this point right here, let's call that F, and that's an F, and you go down to FO, that's the height, and this circle is the same, so this cone is cut out of this cylinder. If that be the case, the volume of a cylinder is base area times height, which is pi r squared h, because the base of a cylinder is a circle. And since the cone, which has the same dimensions of 8 high and 3 radius, that means that the cone is going to be one-third of the volume of the cylinder. So that's one-third pi r squared h. And in, in a lab or in science, if this be the case, if you could fill up this cone with water, and it would take three amounts, quantities of water in this cone, poured into this would fill up the cylinder. So the cone is one-third of the volume of a cylinder. If that be the case, let's work out some. So what I do, you can write the formula as volume is one-third base area times height, one-third pi r squared h. So we have in A, we have a cone, which the center of the cone is O, OR is the radius of 6, and OA is the height of 13. So that means if you plug it into the formula, 3.14, and the radius is 6 squared times the height of 13, if you multiply that out, you will get 489.84. And we we'll round it to the nearest tenth, so that's tenths. So that's a zero. So this is four less than five, so we do not change the eight. So it's four, eight, nine. And it's feet, so the volume is cubic. Again, one third of the area of a cylinder. B, we have a radius of the base. So we have R is 2.8. We have the height is 12, and they're all inches, so that's okay. So the volume is one-third the base area of a cylinder. So it's one-third pi r squared height. So it's one-third base area times the height. So it's the base of a cylinder is a circle. So it's one-third pi r squared h. So it's one-third pi 3.14. The radius is 2.8, and we're squaring it, times the height of 12. Now, some people would say 3 into 12 goes 4, and go 3.14 times 2.8 squared times 4, and you will get 98.4704, and we want to round that to the nearest tenth, so that's the tenth place, so that's a 0, 0, 0. Since the 7 is 5 or greater, we add 1 to the 4, they get a 5, so we get 98.4. Five. And it's inches, so it's inches cubed. Again, the volume of a cone is one-third the volume of a cylinder. And a cylinder 
has a base, which is a circle, and a cone has a base, which is a circle. So let's do a bit of practice. Practice means you uh, pause the video, read the question, pause the video, work it out, and then play it back. And do that for each question to see how you're going to make out. Find a volume of each cone, numbers 1 to 3, we're going to do the nearest tenth. 1 to 3, we do nearest tenth. We have a base area, so a cone is a cone, so it's one third the base area times the height. So since we have a base area already, which is 21 millimeters squared, and we have a height, which is 8.4, that means we can go one third, base area is 21 times the height of 8.4, and one third of 21 is a 7, so 7 times 8.4 is 58.8, and it's millimeters, so it's millimeters cubed, so the rounding is it's already tense, so we don't have to round it. Number two, we have a, a cone. This is O is the center of the circle. OA is 10.8, so 10.8, the height is 10.6, sorry, 10.6. Our TO is 4, and it's all feet, so everything is okay. So that means the radius is 4. So we, this is a cone, so a cone is one-third the volume of a cylinder. So it's one-third base area times height. So it's one-third. The base of a cone is pi r squared and height. So the base of a cylinder is a circle. So the base is a circle is pi r squared times the height. So we have one-third times 3.14 times the radius, which is 4, and we'll square it, and times the height, which is 10.6. And when you multiply all that out, when you go 1 divided by 3 times 3.14 times 4 squared, times 10.6, you will get 177.5146. And when you round that off to the nearest tenth, 5 is in the tenth place, it has a 0, 0, 0. So this 1 is less than 5, so the 5 won't change. So 5 decimal, so we got 177.5, and it's in feet. So volume is three dimensions, so it's feet cubed. And we have a, a third one. Remember, pa, read the problem, pause the video, work it out, and then play it back to see if you're right. The circumference of the base, circumference of the base is 125.6 meters. The height of the cone is 10 meters. So, to get the volume of the cone, we go one-third base area times height. And the base of a cone is a circle times the height. But we notice that we have the height is 10, but we don't have the radius. So we have to work with the circumference. The circumference formula is 2 pi r. So I'm given the circumference. So let's fill the circumference in on the right side and fill in 3.14, done. So we multiply 2 times 3.14, 6.28R is 125.6. And because I'm multiplying, I divide each side by 6.28. That cancels to give me R. And when I divide that out, I get 20. The radius is 20. Now let's go over to the volume formula. Now we got a one third pi is 3.14. We got a radius of 20, so that's 20 squared. And we have a height of 10. And when you use the calculator, and work that out, you get 4,186.666. And when you round that off to the nearest tenth again, this 6 is in the tenth place, so these become zeros. 
This number is 5 or greater, so we add 1 to the 6, so we get a 7. And the other digits are okay, so. And it's in meters, so it's meters cubed. Number 4. The volume of a cone is uh, 628 square yards. The volume of a cone, now that's no square yards. The volume of a cone is cubic. So we have a minor mistake there on my proofreading. Its height is 3 yards. Uh, find its radius to the nearest unit. We have a volume is 628. We have a height of 3. So the volume is one third base area times height. So the volume is one third pi r squared h. So we have we're looking for the radius. So we have the volume as six twenty eight one third times three point one four, and the radius is what we're looking for. And the height is given as 3. So let's work out the right side. 1 third times, that's a 3. The 3's cancel. So I get 6, 2, 8 equals 3.14 R squared. So I'm trying to solve it for R. So I'll divide both sides by 3.14. So that means R squared. When you divide that out, you get that becomes 200. So that means that r is equal to the square root of 200. And that means r is equal to 14.14. And we want to round it to the nearest unit. So the nearest unit, that's is a whole number, 14. So that's a 1, so that's a 0, 0. We got around to the unit place. So that's less than 5, so 14 won't change. So the radius is 14, and we have yards. Except for the volume being square. Volume is not square, volume is cubed. This, notice the two of these are varied to make you think. Again, volume is cubic, area is square. Sorry for that mistake. Now we have another sheet, and let's review, but this one is a little tiny, twisted a little bit. I always like to make things different. We have a cone, and the center is zero. Oh. R is the radius, okay. The height is from the peak down perpendicular to the base, is the height. And we have a slant height, is the height coming down the side. So this is the height of the cone, but the slant height is pertaining to the uh, height of the lateral edge. Find the volume of the cone to the nearest tenth. We got an example done. So we have a cone here, and we have a height of 24 meters. We have a slant height of 26. But because the height is perpendicular to the radius, then we have a triangle, so we can put that R there. We have a right triangle, so we can, we have two sides, we use Pythagorean. C squared is A squared plus B squared. And C is opposite the right angle, so C is 26, A is 24, and B is the R. And 26 squared is 676, 24 squared is 576, and 676 subtract 576 because I'm transposing this over and make it a minus that's 100 when you subtract so that means r is equal to the square root of 100 and r is equal to 10. Now what do we have? Well we have when we started out we had a height we had a slant height of 26, we had a height of 24, now we got a radius. So the volume of a cone is one-third base area times height, base area pi r squared h, so that's one-third, 3.14. The radius 
is 10, so that's 10 squared, and the height is 24. When you multiply all that out with a calculator, you get 2512. And the units are in meters, so this is volume, so it's cubic meters. So, this sheet is using some of the other um, properties, um, lateral area, circumference, and all that. So, and it's using Pythagorean. So, practice means read this problem, uh, work it out, and press play to see if you're right, and do that for both of these. Let's find a volume to the nearest tenth of this cone. Again, this cone has a height of 15, has a lateral, the lateral edge is 17, so I have to find this radius. And that's a Pythagorean, c squared equals a squared plus b squared. Remember, to get the, to get the volume of a cone, you need the height and the radius, so I need the radius. So, uh, 17 is the C, because 17 is the C. That's across from the right angle. A is 15, and B is the radius. 17 squared is 289. 15 squared is 225. And if you subtract 289, subtract 225, because you moved the 225 to the left, you'll get a 64 equals r squared. So r equals the square root of 64, so r is equal to 8. So we have a height of 15, we have a slant height at the beginning of 17, and now we have a radius of 8. So that means I can get the volume of this cone, because it's one-third base area times height. The base of a cone is a circle, so it's pi r squared h. So it's one-third, 3.14. The radius is 8, so it's 8 squared. And the height is 15. And when you multiply all that out, you'll get 100.14. Eight one thousand four point eight, and it, the units are in feet, so it's cubic feet. Okay, again, pause your video after you read this over and see if you can work it out. The lateral area of a cone, lateral area is LA, so it's two fifty one point two centimeters squared, the slant height, so the slant height is L, is 10. So, if we have a cone that looks like this, so we have a slant height as 10, that's the slant height going down there, so in a cone we have the radius, which is right there, and we have the height, which is right there, but we only have one of these. Two are missing. So why did it give us the lateral area? Well, the lateral area, the lateral area of a cone is pi r l. So that means I must be able to get the radius from this. So the lateral area is 251.2. Pi is 3.14, and the radius is r, and the slant height is 10. So, 251.2, 10 times 30, uh, 3.14 is 31.4 times r, and we divide, because that's multiplication, divide both sides by 31.4, that cancels, so we get r. And R comes out to be an 8. Now we got R to be 8. So we got 8 here. So guess we have a right angle with the height coming out. So we have to use a Pythagorean. C squared equals A squared B squared. Because you have a right triangle with two sides, you have to get the third one. 
The hypotenuse is opposite the right angle, so that's 10. So A is 8, and B, sorry, A is H, B is 8, or you could say A is 8, and B is H, either or. That's 100, 10 squared, H squared, 8 squared is 64, and that's 100 minus 64 equals H squared, because the 8, 64 moves over by transposition becomes a minus. And that gives us, when you work it out, 36 is h squared. So h is the square root of 36. So h is equal to 6. And we have to work out the volume of a cone now. Why? Because we have the radius and the height. So one third base area times height. So that's one third pi r squared h so that's one third times 3.14 radius is 8 so that's 8 squared and the height is 6 and when you multiply all that out with a calculator you'll get 401.92 and we round that off and it didn't say yes it said to the nearest tenth 9 is in the 10th place, so that's a 0 there. So this 9 doesn't change because this digit to the right is less than 5. So we got a 9, so 401.9 is the volume. And the units are in centimeters, so it's cubic centimeters. So nice little problem as you're in, using the lateral area and your slant height to get the volume. So this is a good problem, good thinking problem. The more math you can use in a problem, the, the tougher it is. And if you can understand the tough ones like this, you're reviewing a lot of skills. And if you like my video, click on the like button, click on the subscribe button if you're not a subscriber, and the notification bell because there's more videos and topics coming your way. Write a comment on my video if you wish, and visit my math website, www.mathfullyexplained.com, and you will see information on me, my degrees, and teaching experience. A section on videos talks about the strategy you're going to use to help you learn your math, and the content section gives the topics that I have online right now in black font, and the topics that I'm going to do in the near future is in red font. hope you enjoyed my video. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.